Hello everyone and a warm welcome to my channel. This is my first video in my Teach Yourself Engineering series and the main reason why I decided to have these videos is to explain engineering concepts in an easy form. The main topics for these videos I'll talk about microstructure, grains and grain boundaries. Now microstructure, if you had a sample of aluminium and you place that under a microscope, this is the image you'd see, the one on the left, and the one on the right is the microstructure of cast iron. So it's, microstructure is basically what you see when you place a sample under a microscope. Now this is very important because microstructures determine the physical and mechanical properties of metals. So it's good to understand what they look like and to be able to interpret them. For grains, I'd like to zoom into this image here. Now a grain refers to a cluster of atoms, as you can see here, down here. So these boxes refer to atoms, and once a liquid begins to cool, it begins to solidify, the atoms will begin to form clusters, as you can see here. And these clusters, as the liquid progresses or continues to lose energy, more and more clusters begin to form like that. So it will continue to, to form clusters until you have the solid in this case, where you have different orientations or different directions of clusters. Now a group of, a group of atoms or a class of atoms refers to grains. This is also called crystals. And we'll talk about this final image in the next slide. Next, grain boundaries. So grain boundary refers to the meeting place or the interface between two or more grains. So here, again, the circle refers to the microstructure. And where you have these lines here, that refers to the grain boundary. Okay, so it's just the interface between two grains. So I'll put this, these slides in the description box and you can go click on that link for further reading. Thank you for watching my video and see you in the next video.